from big birds and massive marsupials to enormous echidnas and super-sized snakes, here are 16 mega-beasts that ruled prehistoric Australia. The animals on our list belong to a group collectively known as Australian megafauna. That refers to big animals that exist or existed in Oz. Modern examples include the red kangaroo or the saltwater crocodile. Our list today is focused on extinct megafauna like Diprotrodon, which lived around the same time as several other creatures we'll discuss. One thing to remember is that animals in Australia typically did not grow as large as creatures on other continents, and just how they went extinct is still a hotly debated subject. Some argue that it was primarily due to ecological factors, while others think humans played a major role in killing off the megafauna. Be sure to tell us what you think in the comments below. Number 16. Protemnodon Wallabies are small to mid-sized macropods that kind of look like miniature kangaroos. But as recently as 12,000 years ago, some megafauna macropods known as Protemnodon still inhabited Oz and New Guinea. Their fossils suggest that they would have resembled wallabies, but were much larger. While smaller species weighed around 99 pounds, 45 kilograms, the largest animals could weigh as much as 375 pounds, or 170 kilograms. Number 15. Vascalonus gigas This prehistoric marsupial was related to modern-day wombats, although at 450 pounds, 200 kilos, it might be difficult to see the family resemblance. It would have lived during the same time as the much larger Diprotrodon, which is coming up later in the episode. Number 14. Baru Darawi Did you know the Aboriginal word Baru means crocodile's ancestor? Fossils of this massive crocodilian have been located in northern Australia, where they lived until the Miocene. Experts say it would have been about the size of a modern saltwater crocodile and was a semi-aquatic ambush predator. Its deep skull had jaws that resembled those of theropod dinosaurs and were filled with long, blade-like teeth. Due to the shape of those choppers, these beasts probably didn't dine on fish. They would have preferred birds, reptiles, and mammals like archaic kangaroos. Number 13. Zed Hakatai Echidnas are famous for being one of the world's few monotremes, or mammals that lay eggs. They're also known for being relatively small critters. The largest modern species can weigh about 36 pounds or 16 and a half kilograms. But during the Pleistocene, there was a species of long-beaked echidna that weighed about 66 pounds or 30 kilograms. That weight, combined with a length exceeding 3 feet, 1 meter, and a height of nearly 2 feet, 60 centimeters, that would make it the largest monotreme known to have ever existed. Their remains have been found in Western Australia, and evidence suggests that the enormous echidnas may have been hunted by humans. Number 12. Platyterygius Its name might remind you of platypus, but this was an ichthyosaur, or marine reptile, that existed about 94 million years ago. At about 23 feet, 7 meters, it had a powerful finned tail, a long snout, and unusual flippers. Experts say they were broader and flatter than most ichthyosaurs, and that inspired their genus name, which means flat wing. Their fossils have been found in areas of north central Queensland. Number 11. The Demon Duck of Doom Bullicornis was a flightless bird that wandered about present-day Oz some 15 million years ago. It was a big critter that could have weighed around 550 pounds, 250 kilograms, and stood more than eight feet tall, or two and a half meters. Its awesome nickname was inspired by a couple of things. Some paleontologists think the bird could have been related to ducks and geese, and it had an unusually large beak that was suitable for shearing. That indicated that it may have been carnivorous, although most sources now discount that. Did you know that this bird's skull is bigger than that of a small horse? Number 10. Erysigyma This marsupial belonged to the same family as Diprotrodon and had the massive size to prove it. These animals could weigh around 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms. They would have roamed the eucalyptus forests of New South Wales and Queensland ages ago. Unusual for marsupials, they had wide, flaring cheekbones that were either used for storing food or for attracting mates. Number 9. Myolania This reptile may have existed as recently as the Holocene. It's defined as a turtle, but it sounds a lot like a dinosaur. 
Myelania had an oddly shaped skull that displayed numerous horn and knob-like protrusions. Two of those horns were positioned sideways and would have prevented the turtle from completely retracting its head into its shell. The tail had thorned spikes at the end of it and was shielded by armoured rings. Experts say its body form is reminiscent of certain armoured dinosaurs and indicates an example of convergent evolution. Fossils of two species were discovered on Lord Ho Island in the late 19th century. The largest animal had a carapace that measured more than six and a half feet, two meters. That makes it the second largest non-marine tortoise or turtle so far discovered in the world. Number eight, Wenambi snake. Enormous snakes and Australia seem to be a winning combination that stretches back for countless ages. The Wenambi takes its name from the Aboriginal word for rainbow serpent, a mythical creature that created landscapes. It's sometimes called an Australian python due to its physical traits. The snake would have been a non-venomous constrictor and measured more than 20 feet, 6.1 meters. Identified as an ambush predator, experts say that the Wenambi family would have died out in other parts of the world 55 million years ago. But in Oz, new species of the critter continued to evolve. Those species are believed to have died off over the past 50,000 years or so. Number seven, Bluff Downs Giant Python. Wenambi wasn't the only large prehistoric snake slithering around Oz. Fossils of this giant python were found in 1992 at the Bluff Downs Station in northern Queensland. Evidence suggested that this reptile lived during the early Pliocene and grew to a length of 33 feet, 10 meters. That's larger than Wenambi and the modern day green anaconda and reticulated python. To date, it's thought to be the largest serpent that ever existed in Oz. Its closest living relative is the olive python. They can grow 13 feet, four meters, and are the second longest snake species found in Australia. Number six, Quincana. Until around 40,000 years ago, these crocodilian critters were roaming about Australia. Judging from their fossils, paleontologists say the animals could have measured between 10 and 20 feet long, three meters to six meters. If that estimate holds up, its size would have rivaled that of Megalania, the giant monitor lizard. With its long legs and sharp serrated teeth, the Quincana would have been one of the top terrestrial predators found in Oz. Number five, Thunderbirds. They're known as Sturtoni's Thunderbirds, and although the common name is the same, there's no relation between this animal and the creatures that appear in Native American mythologies. However, both were large birds. This one inhabited the subtropical woodlands of Oz more than five million years ago. Standing some 10 feet tall, 3 meters, and weighing 1,100 pounds, 500 kilograms, they would have been difficult to overlook. This flightless beast had stubby wings and powerful legs, although it wasn't a fast runner. Paleontologists have suggested that its large beak might be an indication that it was carnivorous, although that's still being debated. Number 4. Megalania Prisca also known as the giant ripper lizard, it was native to Australia, where it lived until around 50,000 years ago. The Komodo dragon is today's largest extant species of lizard. Their largest verified specimens have measured about 10 feet long, 3 meters, and weighed over 360 pounds, 163 kilograms. Experts estimate that the largest specimens of Megalania grew to 23 feet long, seven meters, and weighed nearly 4,300 pounds, or 2,000 kilograms. That would make them the largest terrestrial lizards known to date. They were powerfully built reptiles with a jaw filled with blade-like teeth that allowed them to take down Diprotrodon and other large prey. Number three, the marsupial lion. Despite their common name, this animal is not any sort of cat, although there were some superficial similarities. Thylacolio was a carnivorous marsupial found in Oz during the late Pleistocene. It was the largest meat-eating mammal known to have ever existed in Australia. It was also among the largest such animals that ever existed anywhere on Earth. The largest specimens could measure nearly six feet long, 150 centimeters from head to tail, stood 30 inches, 75 centimeters tall at the shoulder, and weighed more than 360 pounds, or 163 kilograms. Their dimensions would have been comparable to a female tiger or lion. Experts say these were robust, powerful animals that possessed retractable claws, which is not typical of marsupials. 
neither were their exceptionally strong jaws, which would have exerted a bite force close to that of an African lion. Even though these animals vanished some 46,000 years ago, sightings of them are still reported today. Number 2. Too huge to hop One thing that we expect from kangaroos is that they hop. However, this was not the case more than 2.5 million years ago. That's when a genus of kangaroos existed that were too huge to hop. Experts say that species related to Stenurus could weigh 530 pounds, 240 kilograms, or about three times the size of the largest roos today. Unlike the modern beasts, they had short tails that were more powerful, and only one toe instead of three. At a height of nearly 9 feet, 2.7 meters, these prehistoric marsupials were so tall and massive that hopping was not an option. They had to walk bipedally, not unlike hominids. These kangaroos are thought to have been strolling about Oz until around 50,000 years ago. Number 1. Diprotrodon Three known species of wombat are native to Australia. Many people adore these marsupials because they look so cute and snuggly. But all of these animals are related to a prehistoric beast that wasn't so adorable. Their ancestor Diprotrodon was closer to the size of a hippo or a rhino. Weighing more than 6,100 pounds, 2,700 kilograms, and measuring 10 feet long, 3 meters, and standing over 6.5 feet tall, 2 meters, this critter is regarded as the largest marsupial ever. Diprotrodon fossils have been found scattered across mainland Australia after their initial discovery in the 1830s. They're thought to have existed throughout most of the Pleistocene epoch before going extinct around 46,000 years ago. There's a theory that these creatures may have been the real-life basis of the Bunyip myth. Some Aboriginal tribes have allegedly identified the ancient marsupials' bones as those of the legendary cryptid. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.